This is a quick overview of digestive physiology of the three main types of domestic mammal gastrointestinal tracts. We'll start with the pig, and you should review the web materials covering the functions of each part of the GI tract. To change from a monogastric animal such as the pig to an herbivore such as the horse that is a hindgut fermenter, we change the head, which would have slightly different teeth because the horse is an herbivore and the pig is an omnivore, so they have slightly different teeth inside their mouth. The main difference between the horse, which is a hindgut fermenter, and the pig, which is a monogastric animal, is going to be the size and the functionality of the cecum. The cecum, which is located between the junction of the small intestine and large intestine, is very large in hindgut fermenters such as the horse. Inside the cecum, there are beneficial bacteria that function to digest fiber, and that allows the horse to eat high fiber diets such as grass or hay. So it's actually the bacteria and other microbes that do the digesting. The horse's stomach is very small relative to its body size, and the stomach is identical to that that you would find in a pig or other monogastric animal. If we change from a hindgut fermenter, such as the horse, to a ruminant animal, the only change is going to be in the stomach area of the animal. The cecum of ruminant animals is also large and has functional bacteria that are digesting material in the cecum. So we'll change the head. This is a cow. We'll have to write moo up here so you can tell that this is a cow. And the esophagus is the same, but we're going to move it over just a little bit so that we have room for the four compartment stomach. When the cow swallows, the material goes down the esophagus to the large fermentation vat known as the rumen. The rumen and reticulum, the first two compartments, are actually together, so we will indicate that on the diagram. Material goes down the esophagus into the rumen and reticulum, and the ruminant is unique in that material can then be passed back up the esophagus for regurgitation, which is called rumination. In the rumen and reticulum, we have bacteria and other beneficial microorganisms that are digesting fiber, which means that ruminant animals have two places inside the gastrointestinal tract where fiber is digested. When material leaves here, it goes to the omasum, located on the right side of the animal, and then the fourth stomach compartment is the abomasum. The omasum functions primarily to remove water from the material, and it is the abomasum, the fourth compartment of the ruminant four-compartment stomach, that is comparable to the stomach of the monogastric animal. So the abomasum secretes hydrochloric acid, and is very similar to the monogastric animal. That's digestive physiology in three minutes or less.